Hello everyone. Up to this point, we have been looking at special cases of multiplication. Multiplying numbers close to base 10, 100 and 1000 are just some of the examples we have seen in earlier videos. But is there a generic method that can be applied across all cases of multiplication and not just certain bases? If there is such a method, is it faster than the conventional methods taught in schools? Finally, if such a method exists, is it easy to learn? The answer to all the above questions is yes. The method I am going to show you in this video is called the Uddharva Tiryak Sutra. These words come from the Sanskrit language. Loosely translated, it means vertically and crosswise. This sutra of formula comes from an Indian system of mathematics called Vedic Maths. We have put up some literature on Vedic Maths in the attachment section, so please check it out. It makes for very interesting and informative reading. Alright, let's get back to our method. We said that the loose translation of our method was vertically and crosswise. So what does that have to do with multiplying numbers? Let's find out. Consider these four dots. They can be connected vertically in two ways like this. And they can be connected crosswise in two ways like this. These dots could also be connected horizontally. But that is not the subject of this discussion. Please make a note of this point. Now let's use this concept to multiply two digit numbers. What is 12 times 13? We first write down the numbers like this. Starting from the left, we first connect the numbers vertically and find their product. 1 into 1 is 1. Now we move crosswise and multiply the numbers. 1 into 3 is 3 and 1 into 2 is 2. We then add these results. 3 plus 2 is 5. Finally, moving to the extreme right, we connect the numbers vertically and find their product. 3 times 2 is 6 and joining these results we get 156 which is the correct answer. Let's try another example. What is 21 times 51? We write down both numbers. Starting from the left, we first connect the numbers vertically and find their product. So 2 into 5 is 10. Now we move crosswise and multiply the numbers. 2 into 1 is 2 and 5 into 1 is 5. We add both results. 2 plus 5 is 7. Finally, moving to the extreme right, we connect the numbers vertically and find their product. 1 into 1 is 1. And joining our numbers, we get 1071, which is our final answer. But is this correct? Let's quickly find out. Great. Now let's raise the bar and look at a more complex example. What is 37 times 33? Starting from the left, we first find the product of 3 times 3, which is 9. We then cross multiply. 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 7 is 21. Adding both results, we get 21 plus 9, which is 30. So, should we put down the 30? No, we don't. We put down the 0 and carry the 3 like this. Finally, we multiply the rightmost digits. 7 times 3 is 21. Do we write down the 21? No. Just like the previous case, we write down the 1 and carry over the 2. Lastly, totaling our numbers, we get 1221, which is our final answer. Let's quickly verify whether the answer is correct. Yes, it is the correct answer. As this example demonstrated, things can get a bit complicated with carryovers. But with a bit of practice, you will find this smooth sailing. Let's attempt one last two-digit multiplication problem. What is 47 times 49? We first multiply the leftmost digits. 4 times 4 is 16. We then cross multiply. 4 times 7 is 28. And 4 times 9 is 36. Adding both results, we get 36 plus 28, which is 64. We write down the 4 and carry over the 6. 
Finally, we multiply the rightmost digits. 7 times 9 is 63. And yes, we write down the 3 and carry over the 6. Adding together our digits we get 2303. But is this correct? Let's quickly find out. This is indeed the correct answer. At this point, some of you may be wondering how this technique compares with the conventional method of multiplication. I would suggest that once you have understood this technique, identify a few problems and try solving them with both methods and compare the timing and accuracy of both. Please make sure that you try out some problems with numbers carried over and some with no carryovers. And do let me know your thoughts by posting comments against this video, please. Alright, let's push ahead. So far, all our examples have focused on two-digit multiplication. Can we use this method to multiply three-digit numbers? For example, can we find the result of 763 times 321? Yes, you can. The solution is a bit tougher than what we have seen so far, but easier than the conventional method. But let's take a step back and see what our method means once again. It means vertically and crosswise. Now let's focus on these six dots. How can we connect them vertically and crosswise? Here are the many ways you can do so. Please pause the video and try joining the six dots vertically and crosswise yourself so that this concept is clear. Alright, let's apply this logic to a multiplication problem. What is 231 times 221? We first write down the numbers one below the other like this. Starting from the left, we first multiply these two numbers. 2 times 2 is 4. We then move rightwards and cross multiply the next four numbers. 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 3 is 6. Adding both results, we get 10. Let's write that down. Our next operation involves three steps. We first multiply the leftmost top number with the rightmost bottom number. 2 times 1 is 2. We then multiply the leftmost bottom number with the rightmost top number. 2 times 1 is 2 again. And for the third step, we multiply these two numbers in the middle. 3 times 2 is 6. And adding all numbers we get 2 plus 1 plus 6 which is 10. Let's write this down. Now we cross multiply these four digits on the right. 3 times 1 is 3 and 2 times 1 is 2. And adding these results we get 5. Finally, we multiply the last two digits. 1 times 1 is 1. Let's write this down. Our final answer is 51,051. But is it correct? Let's quickly find out. Yes, it is the correct answer. Now some of you may have noted that we have two levels of results which we added to get our final answer. But if we use the conventional way, we would have three levels. So this brings us to the end of our session. If you found it useful and wish to do a course on rapid multiplication, we have something for you. Curious.com's mission is to connect the world's teachers with its lifelong learners. It allows teachers like us to upload educational videos. These videos are verified for accuracy and then organized into courses. Each video comes with useful links and great exercises and quizzes. You will also meet hundreds of other learners with identical interests and questions. So head to our profile on Curious.com and sign up to our new course on Rapid Mental Math. Thanks a lot and bye for now.